What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range, as you can see behind me, on a sunny, chilly day out here. The wind's whipping us in the mid-40s or so, so it's definitely cold out here. I got some really good stuff playing, though. I've already got one done, and this one right here is going to keep the rimfire train rolling with a little sibling rivalry. So the jelly contraption's set up, ready to go with the chronos and two blocks of gel. Now, I've done one test already in this far block. It was definitely one you want to check out, so I'll leave a link up above this front block here. Here is completely clear so no problem getting a good picture of what happens with this one heavy clothing barrier of course with a layer of denim fleece and two layers of cotton t-shirt and what we got with this one is something i'll call an exhibition match if you will these two rounds here probably couldn't be further apart from their intended purpose but i've had people ask me to test these two what we got here you can see is the new kid on the block again that cci uppercut 22 lr 32 grain jacketed hollow point now this isn't a plated hollow point like pretty much every other 22 lr this is sure enough a jacketed hollow point round so as you can see there nickel plated case 32 grain the box is claiming 950 feet per second now this is optimized for defensive use out of shorter barrels two and a half to four inch barrels i have just tested this against a champion punch so if y'all hadn't seen that i'll leave a link but let's just say it left some to be desired for sure but what we're putting it up against this time again is something not meant for for this same purpose not really meant for defensive use but i know some people do use them and that definitely a lot of people that want to see them up against this uppercut we've got the cci stinger 22 lr 32 grain again so the same weight but now this is a copper plated hollow point so copper plated versus metal jacket here now this one is saying 1640 feet per second as far as the velocity but that's out of a long barrel a rifle length barrel now this is not optimized for shorter barrels so we're probably not going to get stellar performance out of this but it should be interesting to see what they both do beside each other and as far as the tool this time we're giving this uppercut a little bit of a better chance to act right we're bumping up the barrels to four inch barrels so right at the top of what it says this is optimized for we got the taurus tx22 full size so again i know this isn't really apples to apples because they're not intended for the same purpose but it should be interesting anyway let's get this stuff set up and let's find out what happens all right let's see how fast these are both moving from the four inch here i'm gonna do a five round average from each one starting with the uppercut first now if y'all aren't familiar with these tests again like i always mention with this lab radar you're gonna have multiple velocities your large number is gonna be at your muzzle and then you'll have five additional across the bottom one of them set at three yards which is roughly where the gel is here at 10 feet and then you'll have 10 15 25 and 50. now being this is a small uh, diameter projectile small caliber very light we may not see out to 50 and may have trouble leaving at 25 but we'll see what happens here now remember the box on this is saying 950 from two inch to four inch or two and a half to four inch so we should see that 950 there's no good excuse for not seeing that 950 from this tx22 10 10 948 950 989 968 was that five that was all five of them so we saw i believe that 950 on pretty much all of them let's see what the average is all right so it definitely likes this little longer barrel more than it did that short one from the first test so our five round average that time was 973 so met and exceeded what the box says we had an extreme spread of 62 and a standard deviation of 26.4 so definitely happy to see velocities bumped up where the box is claiming let's get this stuff reset and let's see what that stinger does all right let's see what these stingers do remember the box on these is saying 1640 but again that's out of a much much longer barrel so curious to see what they do here i've probably tested these out of this tx22 before but i can't really remember let's see what happens with them 1180 they sound good 1202 1179 1169 
1148 was that all five yeah that was all five we didn't get a lock back for some reason so way way faster and then them uppercuts even though they're supposedly optimized for shorter barrels let's see what the average is all right so our five round average from the stingers is 1176 feet per second the extreme spread on them was 54 and a standard deviation of 19 19.6 so not bad at all for something not really meant for short barrels like that so we got 1176 there and if you remember on them uppercuts it was 973 so you're talking about 203 feet per second faster from the stingers which are not meant to be run from the short barrels are not optimized supposedly for those short barrels so that's a big big difference right there especially for something that's not even meant to compete with the short barrel like that so as far as what's going to happen in the gel i really can't remember if i've tested the stingers through these right here as far as expansion on these the uppercut should expand there's no reason they shouldn't but i really just don't have much faith in them after that previous test but hopefully i'm wrong let's get this stuff set up y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's i didn't hear no bell jelly time we'll put one of each into the gel starting with this uppercut first after that first test between this and the punch i just really don't have any kind of good hopes for this stuff at all i don't know if it's the cloth or speeds or what but i don't expect much from it All right, that should have been a good one right there. Let me go see what we got. Let's try it again. That one curved out the top on me. All right, that should have been a good one right there. I think that was low enough. Let me go see what I got. All right, that one ended up where I wanted it, but I'm gonna tell you something right now, y'all. This uppercut ain't looking worth a darn so far on either one of these tests that I've done. Let's see what this uh, stinger does. I think this stinger is gonna go further, even if it don't expand. I don't think it's gonna expand, but it's probably gonna go further, which ain't saying much. All right, let's see if we got a good placement for that one right there. All right, let's check this stuff out down here, y'all. I am actually incredibly disappointed with this uppercut so far in the tests I've done. I mean, very, very disappointed. This stuff has not done anything it was supposed to do. So as you can see, that first one on the top, that was the first uppercut. Went in right where I wanted it, but then curved out the top. So the next one I put right up under it, it looks exactly the same. A little bit of disruption here, no expansion that's obvious. And you can see right here, absolutely no expansion. It did tumble somewhere probably that little bit of disruption right there sitting there backwards and looks like it might have made it just barely over halfway in this first block and then the last one down here on the bottom of course is the stinger it comes in looks really similar right here is no doubt some tumbling because it's sitting down here backwards keeps on trucking further penetration than the uppercut sitting there backwards and looks like it's about i would say about 14 15 inches sitting down there so it's a pretty sad state that a round that is not meant for shorter barrels outperformed a supposed premium short barrel defensive round so as far as the penetration on it the uppercut is at exactly nine and a half inches so just woefully short penetration in my opinion and i don't think there's really any good argument against that and then the stinger is out here at 13 and a half inches so good penetration on that stinger even though know again it is not meant to be run out of the short barrels and then here's your close-up again on the bottom uh, stinger up above it the uppercut you can see the disruption from both of them is just from tumbling much much more on the stinger though just because of the velocity i'm sure there's your uppercut sitting backwards absolutely zero attempt at expansion and then there's your stinger sitting backwards it looks like it might have a little bit of deformation on that stinger but no real expansion 
All right, let's check out these projectiles, y'all. Once again, absolutely nothing exciting here. Just two hollow points that did not expand. Now, the stinger here on the left, we can't really hold that against it because I didn't expect any expansion from a short barrel. Not meant to be run out of these short barrels. It probably would expand up to its velocity out of a longer barrel it has in the past with testing. So again, didn't expect it there. The uppercut here on the right, on the other hand, I absolutely expected it from the uppercut. That's what this thing is designed for shorter barrels and this is even at the upper end of the barrel length range that they're claiming to get the velocities and performance from so once again two in a row absolute failures from this uppercut as far as i'm concerned but let's get our measurements on them again anyway we'll start with weights both of them started at 32 the uppercut is at 32.0 so exactly on the money there the stinger here is at 31.4 so may have been a little scrapage going on from there i can tell that this one got dug into a little more as far as the plating and all but either way not much if any loss from either one of them and then sizes again not very exciting it's just going to be some base measurement and some length so on our uppercut we got 219 with a length of 384 and then on our stinger here we got 225 with a length of 365 so there you go y'all a little sibling rivalry with the cci stinger versus the new kid uppercut very very disappointing once again from this uppercut the stinger this is about what i expected from it and to be something that's not meant for short barrel defensive use this stuff did a pretty admirable job the uppercut again i'm just very very disappointed in this stuff this is twice in a row now that it has not performed at all the way in which it's supposed to perform it's up to the speeds that they're claiming so that's not the excuse is it the cloth i mean i I don't know it's not visibly clogging but it could be the cloth whatever the reason this cci uppercut is now zero for two and is just not getting the job done all right y'all that's a wrap for what was unfortunately the second disappointment in a row from this new cci uppercut once again i'm personally finding it difficult to find anything good to say about this stuff the velocity was there for what it claimed on the box but still well short of something that's not even meant to be run out of short barrels i mean it was well short with the punch it was well short with this stinger it did not expand here it did not expand previously it's got woefully short penetration i simply do not see the point in this stuff at all based on what i've seen so far i think the one positive thing that you can say about this test versus the first one is there was no problem with it through this uh, tx22 i didn't expect there to be i've run tons and tons of punch and stinger through this tx22 with a little bit longer cases which the upper cut also has and no problems at all so no problem feeding no kind of light primer strikes or anything like we had with the lcp2 but let me know again down in the comments what y'all think about the performance from this stuff what do you think is the issue here do you, do you think it's just the speed do you think it is this cloth right here for me if it is the cloth that's a shame for a premium so-called premium jacketed 22 lr to be shut down by this little bit of cloth if you enjoyed the video take a second as always and hit that thumb thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you get notified when i upload new stuff if you're doing some shopping check out them affiliate links in the video description anything you buy after hitting up those links down there i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really do appreciate that once again a big thanks to my range gang members and every single one of y'all for showing support to the channel like y'all do i've got one more test planned for out here for this uppercut i'm probably going to tweak it and maybe change it completely a little bit just to see if i can get some kind of expansion out of these things make sure you stay tuned for a whole lot of good stuff and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon